playing really hot. But uh, Jen kind of one of the stalwarts of Xeno, you know? Been here since like the beginning, been here since like Smash 4, you know? And has always been a very consistent high placer. Yeah, uh, but yeah. even Jen had to beat Vivi to get here 2-1, mm -hmm. so probably was a pretty close set. Yeah. It's no small beat to beat Vivi uh, these days, too. Yeah, so, yeah. for sure. Um, nice. Where was Doom with Vivi his last PR? Uh, I don't remember the PR yeah, at all, yeah. Either, I'm not gonna just like talk out of my pretty, ass. Pretty good, though. <laughs> uh, at the very least, Vivi mm -hmm. always climbing. Yeah. And uh, right off the bat, we're even seeing a lot of uh, just back and forth swinging between these two. Uh, it's only been 30 seconds, and they're both almost at 100%. <laughs> yeah, Carflow's just doing a good job of like, I feel like. You know, with Roy, you have to play with confidence because that's going to be so huge in yeah. being able to be fast enough to whiff punish with your speed. Mm -hmm. If you're not confident in your punish game, then, like, you're just yeah. going to be whiffing. But Carflow's just been confident all day. You know, I saw earlier against Duramgar, just, like, almost double three stocking, like, playing super clean. But that was also yeah, really clean. Yeah, great catch on the jump there but with the up air. Uh, Palu can force a lot of these situations on you where she can kind of force you to choose between, like, two or three options. And... Uh, all the punishes for those can hit very hard. Uh, so, Alan calling out the correct option this time with the jump away uh, with the up air. And yeah, now we'll have to see, like, how is Carflow playing with the deficit, you know? Because I feel like Jen right here is fine with Carflow playing on his current play style because he can be the one who's, stuff who's stuffing the approaches out, you know, with this percent lead. That being said, taking it right here, you know, honestly, a couple Roy strings and this is back to even. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a lot of up airs to be using that string, but uh, they, they looked pretty safe, actually. Uh, especially when you hit behind Palu's shield. Uh, her back air to shield doesn't hit too uh, low, so it can be difficult to just like use it out of shield instantly uh, if you're not a, like, a tall character. Yeah, I feel like, if anything, like maybe like that down air as shield could be used. But yeah. that being said, you know, Carflow was down 100% that stock. And like like I said, two openings is really all you need with Roy mm -hmm. to close it out. And now even up right here. Carflow, though, it's not going to be stopping this aggression. Yeah, I feel like it would be a detriment just to slow it down at Roy, right? Like you have uh, so many ways to uh, threaten and pressure your opponent, uh, especially when Palu's main goal is to try to stay away as much as possible. Yeah, when you were talking earlier, like, you know, Palu's back air shield not hitting low opponents. Palu, mm -hmm. like, it feel like when Roy's so close, she doesn't have that many moves that are, like, crazy fast to, like, yeah. stop it. Her low know? startup is, is definitely a weakness against Roy, for sure. Oh, and I feel like that was such a huge opening for Jen right there because that was the first time uh, he was starting to juggle. And get <gasps> oh, lead. yeah. Uh, that shield grab, once upon a time, you know? <laughs> once yeah. upon a time, for sure. <laughs> That was definitely a range where it would have grabbed previously, and uh, I can understand that I sometimes uh, just like warp back to pre patch and think it will grab from this spot. Yeah. That's uh, it. Roy's roll in pretty far. It does go yeah. pretty far, yeah. yeah. I, I was not realize. expecting that. That might have also been why Jen might have missed that, because uh, I don't think he was expecting the, the roll to go as far. And honestly, that match was so quick. Kind of hard to analyze too much, but I feel like Jen could benefit. You know, like we were saying, Palu has not the fastest startup on her aerials, so I think Jen could uh, benefit from doing things a bit more preemptive. Like, you know, Carflow is going to go in, so just put the nair out, put a bear out before you even like see him start jumping in, because you know he's going to go in. So, and Palu's not fast enough to play that reactionary because of her low startup. So try maybe reading some things more and stuffing it out preemptively. And wow, uh, Jen just cannot get down right now against these up airs that Carflow keeps swinging. <laughs> and as I say that, he gets away with it. But uh, suddenly it's uh, Jen's time. To oh. oh, and just as, as I was about to say uh, that Jen was turning tables in that advantage state, uh, Carflow just swings the back air. And I gotta say, Carflow has gone out disadvantage every time in scenario. Uh, it's been mm -hmm. falling up airs, laying back uh -oh, airs. No such. jump. Oh, but the. Uppy hitbox, really big. Uh, yeah. The back air just not coming out in time fast enough. Because it definitely would have beat it. <sighs> Double parry. Yeah, that was kind of That was kind of, yeah, that was smooth. Nice trump, yeah. Carflow was going for a lot of those earlier. When yeah, I saw. it's a really good way to edge guard Palu because you cannot two frame her if she teleports from above. Yeah, so it's almost useless to throw out an option to uh, try to hit her. 
because it just will never intercept her. But the ledge trump will force her a lot to uh, either get up from the ledge instantly, you know, or wait and get ledge trumped. And that grab there was so smart on that platform, you know, if he's been jumping landing airily a thousand times, so just no way Jen was ready for that landing grab on the platform. And now, putting some grabs and mixing it up. He'll get up attack off the ledge, uh, knowing that Carplo is kind of like using a lot of aggressive options, uh, so just needed to answer back quickly. And I like that dash tag, like I was saying, like, put, don't put hitboxes out preemptively because you know he's going to run in, you know he's going to jump mm -hmm. in. So dash tags like that, I think if Jen starts incorporating, you know, putting yeah. his hitboxes out earlier, it could go so far. It was kind of like, it brings us back to what we were talking about before, is that dash attack, the existence of it, like, kind of forces you to slow down because, like, you have to shield it to punish it. You can't beat it with moves. Oh. Yeah, and wow. That was, uh, was that a reaction, you think? Like, that, I that am not so sure, clean. but yeah, it looked very clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carflow, I feel like, it is dialed in right now. And yeah, these, this, uh, these pressure sequences and the platforms have been so nice by Carflow. It just seems like uh, Alan's getting very little room to breathe. And right there, you know, he get up attacks earlier and mm -hmm. it worked, so I feel like Carflow yeah. was aware of that and just was kind of backed off on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, difficult spot for Jen here, but ca again, cast the j jump up high with the, the up air. Yeah, I mean, since Carflow, you know, has not been like air dodging down at all, mm -hmm. that, that up yeah. air is pretty much guaranteed the way he's been playing. You are not hitting buttons down on that up air. Yeah, you have to air dodge past it. Still low. Uh, Jen's got a little bit more work to do before Ooh. he can call us an even game. And even then, you're such a high percent that, like, against Roy, it just it's gonna be scary for the rest of the, uh, the rest of your stock. Yeah, and that Jen jumping there, I feel like Carflow is definitely like fishing for another dash uh, get up attack from Jen. So mm -hmm. good stuff to just play as defensive as possible. I'm not gonna talk about. It. We haven't seen a side B yet from Carflow. I think. Um, right. That kill. Maybe there was one. It, it, it hasn't been super relevant. He's only been yeah. throwing it out like twice. I think so. I definitely... think we might start seeing it because uh, we're getting to oh. those percents where it'll just kill anywhere. Oh man. And now, okay, he air dodged, which it didn't end up mattering, but mm -hmm. it's good that that's in his mind to mix it up. Uh -oh. There it is. Yeah. You have to wait for the jump, and then Auto Reticle will do the rest for you. Uh, oh, very man. good stuff. And good match for awareness by Alan. Yeah, Jen clearly started adapting, and I think, like, knowing playing Jen in multiple sets, mm -hmm. I've been car flow right here, where I yes. won game one, I almost won game two. And game three didn't look so well for me. It, yeah. And I hope Carflow can. A potent uh, adapter yeah. for sure. Carflow can break my curse, you know, um, <laughs> and adapt to the adaptations, you know. And I think we saw mm -hmm. that already. You know, he started using grab more. He, he even air dodged landing the most recent time. So yeah, is that like Carflow's clearly playing well? So if he just doesn't get deterred from that, it, it's still gonna be a close game three. Mm -hmm. What it looks like so far, though, it doesn't look like Carflow's lost his vigor at all. Like, he's still playing with a good mindset. Ooh, and I like that jab. There's the Les Trump again, yeah. Just forcing this mix up where uh, either Jen has to get off the ledge instantly and, like, be at the mercy of, like, a Roy Ariel or something, or get Les Trump and die to back air. And right now, for Jen, it's so important that he keeps this up and gets the damage. Yeah. yeah. This is like where Roy does have weaknesses, is when Polly's like juggling him in this matchup. Yeah. So it's so important that Jen takes every extension really far. Otherwise, you're just not going to outpace the damage output Roy has. Yeah. That is always like where Polly wants to be, is like having you like above her or like in a spot where like you're not on the ground. Oh, that was, that was clean, but I think this will be can. Yeah, that'll do it. it did not Jen's matter. facing these back airs so much better on Roy's recovery now, like not missing their mark. Yeah, I feel like he's, he's been doing them more reactionary. Like, he hasn't been trying... Like, mm -hmm. last time he pulled out the Roy hitbox was so big because Carflow could, like, space himself around it. Yeah. But if he waits for Carflow to do it, then he can just... Exactly. It, it makes the trajectory a lot more predictable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the raw nares on the platform. Went to the up air juggles. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, and this is, this is like, for Jen, this is where you swing the momentum yeah. in your favor right here. But Carflow managed to get back down. Oh, and that hit was huge just to break a, like the streak Jen has been on, but does not seem to matter too much. Oh, man. What a trade. <laughs> Recognizing that's Oh, wow, the roll read. Yeah, it seems like uh, Jen's got a little bit better of a handle. 
on Carflo's uh Carflo's pace now. I was gonna, I I'm feel gonna like, say I think he missed that teleport to ledge. Oh, I was gonna say I feel like Jen's a player who thrives when you know uh, he can then set the pace with like a lead. You know that gives you that mm -hmm. option. But Carflo, it's like super fortunate that he able, was able to close that out without taking any percent because he's not yeah. scared. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jen, like, I think plays off of fear a lot. He, like, will yeah. stand still, wait for you to, like, panic spot dodge or press something. Mm -hmm. Like, Carflow, if he doesn't show fear, can go a long way, but this is going to be such a crucial part. How yeah, do you land? Yeah, he's got to get down. Okay, and Roy, having good fall speed, though, I get, lets him get down a little bit easier when he's above the stage anyway. And Jen's been jumping from ledge a lot lately, and I don't yeah. blame him, but Carflow could he, catch the, off The that. ledge trump, I think, is still, in like, imprinted in his memory. Uh... Especially right now, it will the ledge front back there will definitely take his stock. <gasps> oh it, wow. Was that a directional air dodge I think he did? Yeah, it yeah. to the right. That was that was risky. What a reaction by Jen there, yeah. Clutching it out. And that just like I feel like Jen is just like so good at, at those last sock, last hit scenarios, you know? Yeah, I feel like like car flow, you is. know, being nice. like a newer player to this late in bracket and stuff, like I feel like there's a problem with these last hits where, where you, you're thinking about the win, and Jen, I feel like, is just thinking about the game. You yeah. Know? Jen was just thinking about how, you know, this is Roy landing. He's now starting to air dodge. Let me react to what he does. And yeah. that was really clean. Wow, that roll read with the F smash, too, before oh, yeah. that. Was I feel like, like that's, yeah. that's a Jen classic, oh, doing some, wow. some random F smashes Perfect. like that. Yeah. I mean, not so random. Pretty calculated, but can feel that way. And then Nis. Conditions the roll with the back air and then just punishes the up smash. Yeah, and perfect think, play. Yeah, you know we haven't really seen a successful roll punish from mm -hmm. uh, Gentle. Then you know we yeah. saw game one that grab whiff. Then like you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like Carflow since then you know into game three he felt like it was comfortable again for him to start rolling. And yeah, Jen was super aware <laughs> of that. <laughs> this time he got him when it counted. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that was that was a great really set. great set. Yeah. yeah. I, I really like that, you know, Carflow lost, but I feel like he never stopped playing. He never, like, played badly. And yeah, that's why he, he, lost. Didn't, he didn't lose his heart. Yeah, no, yeah he didn't. At and all. He, he didn't lose because he crumbled. He just lost because Jen had a slightly better adaptation at the end. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, yeah. he can't kick himself too much for that. I feel like you, you, you clearly were playing well, and you can carry that into losers for sure. Especially, you know, you beat Dill, you can, you can beat anyone here.